Hello everybody, just wanted to make a video on how this external clock issue works. So the way I have this set up right here is the following. Um, let's open up the initial gain of the ADSR envelope, which is controlling the um, VCA over here. So now we hear something. Um, the sample and hold circuit is being normal to VCO2, and that's the VCO that we're listening to right now. Um, so if I open up this fader, it will make the classic R2-D2 sound. Now this rate over here is the internal clock. Now the manual states that if you use an external clock input, for example, uh, a square wave LFO, which I'm using right here, that it will bypass the internal clock and then use the external one, which works fine. However, the manual also states that this external clock would bypass the internal clock and would also affect the uh, the electronic switch over here, which clear, clearly it doesn't because it's still being um, affected by the internal clock. Now, the clock output of this sample and hold circuit is also being normaled to the uh, trigger inputs of the envelope generators over here. So if I enable this, then now the sample and hold circuit is uh, triggering the envelope generators over here and also doing the, the pitch modulation over here. So, so far so good. But if I then take an external clock input, then now this external clock is affecting the sample rate of the sample and hold circuit but not the clock itself because the clock itself triggering the envelope generators over here is still being triggered by the internal clock so this doesn't make any sense so hopefully this is a software bug that can be corrected in a firmware update but it kind of feels like this is just being hardwired to the internal clock <laughs> 